All right, we're good? We're good. All right, Dan? Yep. We're recording. Just trying to get that child's attention, she ignored me. And three, D Dan. <laughs> we still Look at the camera. Hello everyone, welcome to episode 55 of Hack the Dino. I'm Ben, that's Dan, and he's like a budgery guard in that he just... That, all the time. I'm, we're about to record, Dan. Oh, what? Look, shiny thing. Shiny? Yeah. I caught a shiny today. Caught a shiny dog guy in Pokemon Go. Dog guy. Dog guy. Anyway, we're here in Greenlight Comics in Adelaide, South Australia. What, you want my pen? I need to write that thing. Yeah, Dan wants my pen. Uh, I'm doing the intro. It's our Halloween spooktacular, as you can see from all the spooky stuff. We've got cotton wool that looks like a spider web. We've got this cheap-ass lantern at the front here. Um, we don't have to explain it. They can see it. Well, the podcast can't. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and behind us is some green webbing. I'd hate to think what that spider's ingested. I'd, I'd like to think that it's slime. Really? Yeah, that, that's why I've drooped it down. It's not, why the spider's and we've got the this slime? skeleton behind us and Jason Voorhees. It's all happening. Anyway, coming up on this show, episode 55 of Hack the Dino, uh, I'm just back from Japan. Woo! How you was may have it? noticed it was it was yeah it was really good. It was I know. Very Japanese. The world theory. stopped when you left. It, I know it did. I planned it that way. <laughs> Freeze ray. Uh, you may notice there's a little bit less of a ginger growth on my face. Um, I did explain why there is there, there is this reason. There's three reasons why I no longer have a red beard. Uh, and if you'd like to know, simply head over to patreon.com backslash hack the dino, pledge one dollar, and listen to the Patreon only pre-show. Where I explain why I shaved off my beard. Mm, mm. Speaking of which, while you're there, uh, head on over to Spotify and subscribe there because Hack the Dino is now on Spotify. To, I say that really weird. Spotify. Spotify. Is it Spotify? Spotify. Well, it is for Australians who say their D's like, T's like D's. Spotify. Spotify. We're on the Spotify. I don't even we're know not, what that not, accent we're not was. We're not supposed to let anyone know we're Australian, remember? <laughs> That's Most right. of our Amer <laughs> yeah. viewers are American. They won't know what the. 60% of our listeners are American. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Howard Moon. <laughs> uh, oh, he's, hang on, he's English. <laughs> Sorry. The moon isn't. The moon. Uh, when American. you are the moon. Um, so we're on Spotify. Uh, so I can't say it. Spotify. I thought you were doing Spotify. that. Spotify. I thought you were doing that as a joke. I wasn't. Oh. I am a joke. <laughs> Spotify. Head on over to there. Look up Hack the Dino and subscribe because we're on there now. Yep. Yep. And lastly... The triumphant return, I'm predicting, of Dan versus the world with a little bit of a twist. Just a little bit. A little bit of a twinge of the old nipple. Maybe an, a name change? No. Oh. No, it's still Dan versus the world. All right, 100%. cool. All right, uh, so before we go into what we've been playing, which is what we usually do to kick off the show, a uh, little game came out today as we we're recording this, um, something called Red Dead Redemption 2. And in order to help us with that, it's time for our Millennial Falcon, Brayden, to join the panel. Come right in. I hope that camera doesn't explode while you're up here, Brayden. Probably. It, we are using Why? a pretty cheap um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, sound, uh, was it? A power device on it. So. Yeah, it, 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 it's from, like, we got, uh, like, a converter for it and everything. It's ridiculous. You need to get way closer. Yeah. Closer? So, uh, turn, and turn on your mic. Yeah, on. yeah, turn that on. <laughs> turn the mic. <laughs> We're professional. Yeah. yeah, so this game, right? Yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2. You're the only one who's played it. I've seen a little bit of streaming. Yes. I watched um, Ryan McCaffrey and Brian Altano uh, stream it this morning on IGN. Uh, mm. And they're two very bad men. <laughs> very bad men. So, Brayden, thoughts on this game that a lot of places are giving 10 out of 10? Yeah, so uh, I've played about two, three hours of it at the moment. Um, and they are coming up strong with the fact that Red Dead 1... Um, it was very much a case of there. It, it's a bad guy who's trying to be a good guy now. Really? Like he, he's trying to redeem himself and be a good guy. And in this one, they're coming out and they're like, you're a bad guy. Like, they're not trying to make him that redeeming or anything at all. It's like, you're an outlaw, and that's it. So it's not John Marsden? No, so John Marsden. It's a prequel, isn't it? It's a prequel. John Marston's in the crew. Don't spoil, spoil anything. anything. How many, how many years before it is, are we doing here? Oh, this one's in 1899. So just before the turn of the century. And then I think Red Dead 1 was like like 
five, maybe. So it's just it was just around about when Cowboy Prince was bringing out 1899, the song. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Cool. I love Cowboy Prince. 1899. Oh, <laughs> so I've heard. Stop it! I'm the only one who sings on this show. Okay. So I've heard that um, it's on two discs. <laughs> yes. So that was that was a shock for me. So I, is it? 2.5 discs. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a snapped half disc at the end just to be like, eh. Got it. Um, but yeah, so I opened it up and it was like, hey, you need to put this disc in first to install it and then this one's to play it. And I was like, oh, okay. I haven't seen that since like PS1. Yeah, yeah, weird. And that is only because it's got graphics that overtake everything. It's just like, it's gorgeous. It looks very pretty. This game is gorgeous. Now, what have you done uh, non-spoilery? Like, is it... Uh, a good pace to get started? Or? Uh, it's slow burn, I would slow say. Burn? Slow burn? Slow um, burn. But it's it's the type of slow burn where I'm like, I wasn't, I'm not disheartened by it. It's the type of slow burn where I'm here now and I'm like, oh man, I can't wait to go back and play more. Because right. this doesn't spoil anything, but you're in a lot of snow at the start. I think it's snot. <laughs> in a lot of snow. Mm. So it's like... So I, cocaine then? I, yes. Yeah. Oh man, if... Man, man, Charlie Sheen would be out no, of his mind. So really, all we have to say now is: Are you enjoying it? Yes, yes, and it does a very good job very early on of showing off their new mechanics in very clever ways. Ooh. Like, so they're, they're showing off how like you interact with random people by like you hold L two when you're looking at them, which is normally like to aim your gun. Right. But if you're if you're looking Ooh, at that someone, get dangerous. I know. <laughs> but if you're looking at someone, it comes up then in the bottom right with a bunch of options of like, oh, you can say these things to them, or if you're with your horse, you can like pet your horse or say lead this it. to the or, horse. Yeah, it's like good boy. Yeah. How do you, do you have a ca- horse from the start, or do you have uh, to capture him? You have a horse from the start, but then you get a new horse instantly. Shh, don't say anything. And it no spoilers. And you can see horse stats and stuff. And you, I just pet my horse a lot. It's great. Yeah, he, he's horse. my good boy. I have a, we had a customer come in and he's saying it looks so good that like he's just sitting there in awe looking at it mm. and then like a wolf will come up to him and he's like, oh my God, look at that amazing wolf. And then he holds his gun up and shoots it. Yeah. And it like, and it, like it's whimpers off and he's like, oh my God, I don't know. Yeah. It's like, and then when you skin uh, it, it does the whole skinning of yeah. everything. From what I saw, you see the whole thing, the unzipping of this yeah. fur coat. <laughs> the, the, uh, and the flipping the it Empire over. The Strikes Back of the coat. Um, <laughs> when uh, I was watching IGN do it, they uh, were on a, a backwards road and there was a blind beggar on the side of the road. <laughs> oh, no. So they shot him in the head with an arrow. Ryan. <laughs> but then someone walked past and saw them yep. and witnessed it. So they chased him down. <laughs> Nice. Shot him. My God. And then there was another person coming from the other direction who witnessed it, and they had to chase him down. They had a shoot-a-thon. And they shot him, (laughs) and then they went back and picked up all the bodies and just threw them in bushes so there'd be no more witnesses. Yeah. Yeah, that's Red Dead Redemption 2 in a nutshell. Yeah. Hide the bodies. Yeah, hide the bodies. Hide the bodies. It's like a reverse fetch quest. (laughs) (laughs) You're making things for people to fetch. Yeah, yeah. All oh, right, so uh, there's, I cannot wait to play more of this game. I'll I'll pop back in when I've probably finished the game in the next show. But oh my god, I hope you're in frame. It's gonna be so. Yeah, I'm in frame. That's all good. <laughs> well, you're about to be out of frame because we've got a show to run and you've got a camera to run. Thank you, Brayden, for joining us. Now get back to your position. Oh hey. Anyway, uh, Dan, what have you been playing? What did you, I what'd have you been, do on your Twitch. Uh, I've been playing. So I did Witch Hunt. Witch Hunt, and this is for. Twitch.tv backslash hack the dino. What's this hack the dino on Twitch? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Either or. Um, so I did Witch Hunt as it, because, you know, I'm doing a, a couple of weeks of scary games, being at Halloween and stuff. Spooktacular. Exactly. Um, so, and Witch Hunt is, and I, I not only played it on, in the stream for like three hours, I also gave it another uh, three hours out of the stream. I enjoyed it that much. So basically, it's set in like the 18 something or hundreds or whatever. Not like, whatever. Back when guns, you know, you load them with the. Um, you pour the you pour gun the gunpowder in and then dunk it, dunk it in with a stick <laughs> and stuff dunk. like that. Dunk it, dunk it in. Um, yeah, and you basically you go to a town and there's a witch in the nearby forest and you have to go and hunt this witch. And the hunting is intense. It took me three hours of intense hunting to just get the first monster, which is a werewolf. Damn. Like, setting traps, getting better, going back to town, upgrading your character. And it was like, yeah, I didn't even kill it in the stream. 
<laughs> like I had to come back the next day and it was like to just kill this one thing. So it must have been a great stream to watch. Oh, there's all monsters. Three mon- hours of Dan walking around the woods going, oh, what's that? Oh, it's a bit of bark. No, no, there's other <laughs> monsters in the woods as well. So you kill monsters, you can do spells. and yeah. You're going for the big one. But yeah, and you find it, you're finding, you're doing puzzles like, as in like, it's, it's really um, just... Uh, what's the word? Like, not much is in there to help you along. It doesn't, it doesn't hold your hand, yeah. kind of thing. So, so you just say, I just found at one stage there was this little like white thing on a hill, and I went up, and it turned into a ghost, and then I just followed this thing, and then it led me to a book, which gave me a new power. And like, I, you could miss that. You can miss everything in this. Yeah, that's Anyhow, cool. that was great. Um, and yeah, and that's what I did. And next week I'm doing uh, in the Halloween theme, I'm going to do uh, the Evil Within Two. Nice. Evil into what? Into Within Us. Oh, the evil within to us. Two. Um, which is, as we all know, the sequel to that game that wasn't very good, made by the dude who made the original Resident Evil. Yeah. Um, but the second one is amazing. Really, really good. So I'll be doing that one. Um, so tune into Twitch. It'll actually be while well, the time goes up. It'll be that week. Yeah, it'll be up on the YouTube channel. Um, yeah. Back yeah. the Dino on YouTube. Uh, I had a bit of time to play as I was flying on over to Japan, or from Singapore and then over to Japan. Um Bit of a, a quick story. While I was in uh, Singapore, I was sitting down. We had a nine-hour layover in Singapore. Nice. Oh, it really wasn't. <laughs> uh, we were sitting there having dinner. I had Pokemon go up, as I do. Then all of a sudden, a uh, Pokemon regional that's only uh, exclusive to an area near Singapore popped up. And I literally just looked at the other two people I was with and said, I've got to go, and got up and walked off. <laughs> like it was an emergency. They thought I was in trouble or something. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> They so found the over. corpse as they hid in Red Dead. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked over to where it needed to be, but it was at a pokey stop just outside the airport. Oh, he no. He couldn't get out. And I couldn't leave the airport. Oh, no. And it ran away. Ah, oh, heartbreaking. So I went, right, well, I've got nine hours. Guess I'm doing a bit of walking. Oh, my God. So I kept walking around the airport, and probably an hour and a half later, another one popped up. You're like, yeah. And it was again outside the airport. Oh. <laughs> but... They're stopping foreigners getting it that are just passing through. <laughs> and I, so I went, right. I ended up going down an alley to a, uh, a toiletry, which was closer to where this Pokestop was. Oh my God. I went, into the the fence. To- went into the toilet. I went to the very back toilet. Oh, my God. And it popped up and I grabbed it. Oh, yeah. Nice. It popped up and you grabbed it in the back toilet. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Have you heard, um, not to interrupt your story, but have you heard but that... you will. Th- yeah, will. This weekend, PAX is on. Yep. In, uh, the unknown are there spilling out PAX. Unknown. Yeah, yeah. Um, the what? Unknown. Oh, were you going to say that? Yeah. Oh. Well, no. But Explain it then. There's a Pokemon at PAX that only comes up during special events and that spells P-A-X because they're Pokemon that spell out the alphabet. Because they have one at Dragon Con as well. My friend got all, all them to spell out Dragon Con. <laughs> really? I really need one. Oh. I just, I just want one for my Pokédex. Anyway, on the flight... Uh, Going over there, I uh, downloaded Undertale and Okami because uh, I'd not played either of those games. What do you think of Okami? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was described to me as very Wind Wakerish, very Zelda-like, and it was. It was great. It was fun. Enjoyed it. Cool. It was fun. Uh, Undertale, I played for probably an hour, hour and a half. What is Undertale? Tell me about it. Uh, it's an RPG where you can either uh, level up uh, by defeating enemies and sort of becoming evil, or you can do a what's called a pacifist run, and like not fight any of them, and you compliment or flirt with them, so you don't level up at all, but you defeat them because they're happy and, and they're your friends. You defeat them, you kill them with kindness, just like real life. Yeah. Uh, so you know that that was that was a thing. I did that. I've played it now. I guess I've <laughs> done bought it, so I'll finish it at some point. I also played uh, Battle Chasers. Do you know that? Uh, the um, Joe Mad game, like an RPG. It's, yeah, yeah. it's pretty much just Octopath Traveler with, <laughs> with his with, characters. With better graphics. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of Octopath Traveler, I was really excited on the way back to have eight hours of uninterrupted Octopath Traveler on the plane. I had my headphones in. I was ready to go. I took out my Switch. 2% battery. Why? Because I forgot to charge it. Oh. Oh, that's all right. I'll just get my uh, backup battery. That's in my checked luggage. <laughs> Don't the plane? The planes have USB cables. You could have plugged it in. Yeah, I had no cables. Oh, oh right. Who are you? I played one match of Street Fighter, and then the battery died. Brilliant. Uh, so I ended up playing, you know, just the one round of Street Fighter, like <laughs> yeah. one man. Yeah. Uh, so I ended up playing the really crappy on-board games. Oh no! So I played Hangman. Oh god. <laughs> I played a bit of Tetris. 
Trivial Pursuit, I played for about an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Did you sit there just fuming about that? Like, I just going, I could be playing. No, well, no, there's no point. It's like, oh, well. How'd you do in Trivial Pursuit, though? Oh, I did all right. What co- what, did you get all the colours? No, it's not like that. You just answer them. They say, oh, you need to get 10 right. Okay. Oh, you need to get 12 right. Okay. Now you need to get them all right. Well, that's not happening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what I've been playing. Uh, all right, well, since how we're already 15 minutes in, I'll go straight to the news and do a really, really quick because we got some show and tell this show. Here we Ooh-hoo, go. baby. All right, first up, uh, Devil May Cry 5 has announced there is an... $8,000 version of the game. Goddamn. Uh, that's about $12,000 Australian. What is it in it? Uh, all the downloadables and all that junk, but you also get Dante's jacket. <laughs> it's come with a lock of Dante's hair. <laughs> <laughs> you can braid. <laughs> so if you want to spend $8,000 on a uh, game that may or may not be any good, although people have said it is pretty good, uh, and uh, a long red jacket, that's a replica that you could probably get in a cheap two dollar shop. Yeah, I reckon it, it, for twelve k, it'd have to be an actual leather jacket. Oh, it is. It's a trench coat thing. I'd expect the names of the cows that made it. Yeah, uh, cows. They don't make it. No, the, like, the leather. <laughs> the, the cows sewing it together. <laughs> so if you like, I, I um, just to put it in a bit of perspective, uh, I've got a couple of things here that you can also buy for about eight thousand dollars Australian. Uh, sorry, American. Uh, you can get a lifelike bust to hold your ashes. <laughs> as in terrifying. like... As in they'll make a bust of you and then when you die and are cremated, you'll get put in a jar and it holds the... You're I holding you. In, can I write, write that down? I need to write that down to buy that. It's in the notes. I'm going to write that, write that down, that down to buy. Put it, <laughs> send that to my wife. That's in the will. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for only $5,000 US, so you have a bit of pocket change, you can rent a celebrity for the day. Which one? William Hung or Tara Reid? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you could buy a sixth month, sorry, sixth, oh, for six. six month supply of gold pills. Now, what gold pills do is they're fragments of gold in pill form, so when you eat them, you poop out gold. Yep. There's, okay. there's, there's wines that have that as well. Priorities. I used to bottle, when I was working in the winery, we used to bottle wine that had gold flakes in it. You'd sell it to the overseas market because they thought it was like... It wasn't really, it was just rust. And no, it was. Like, it used to come in these big tubs and it was oily. But if you picked up all the gold and rubbed it in your fingers, it would just d- dissolve. That's but crazy. it was like, it was, it was actual gold though, but it was so... So weird. Yeah. And finally, for $12,000 US or $8,000 American... You can buy Brayden's soul over at Hack the Dino's Patreon. So for $8,000, you can own Brayden's life forever. Pretty sure yep. you can own Brayden and his whole family soul for that much. Oh, we, uh, <laughs> so buy one, get one free. Yeah. Buy one, get family free. <laughs> <laughs> family discount. There you go. They're your problem now. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, Deadite Ash didn't like that. Uh, Ion Maiden is coming to Switch. Ion. Ion Maiden. No, Dan, I- we played this in a Let's Play. We did. What I did lo- you think? I loved it. I think we all loved it. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. It was by the guys who did Duke Nukem 3D. Yeah, um, what is that? 3D Realms? Yep. Um, yeah, and I think I, at the time I said it was, um, I said the wrong company. It wasn't 3D Realms. Yeah, but That's you right. it on yes. the Let's Play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I said I, Id. Id. Song. Yeah, yeah. 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 They did Commander Keen. But um, yeah, I really liked that one. Uh, the old, old school vibe. We've probably got it playing it behind us right now. I don't know. It's up to Braden. Yep. Depends if his new yeah, soul yeah. owner lets him put it in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so good game. Check that out. And also check out the Let's Play we did a couple of months back. It's great. They're coming back soon with a bit of a twist. Stay tuned. Uh, Smash Brothers leaks. By the time this goes up, there may have already been a Nintendo Direct confirming these. But at this point in time... These are rumoured characters to join Smash Brothers Ultimate before it's release. Rumoured. Rumoured. Well, leaked. Leaked. So, first up, we've got Shadow the Hedgehog. Ooh, Hell yeah. the coolest hedgehog. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's heaps cooler than the rest. Is that because he's, like, edgy? He's black and red. He's, yeah. he's an edgelord. He's who's, an a, edgelord. Who's, a better, who's a better hedgehog than Shadow? Mario. Well, he's not. <laughs> Mario's just better than any hedgehog. He's just a, All the he's time. Just a weird racial like stereotype. I'm going to bring up some adorable hedgehogs now just because I have the excuse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Banjo and Kazooie. That'd which be cool. I think that was one of my picks at one stage, wasn't it? I think so. Didn't I? 
Because I was going on about how if we could have Spyro in there and then Crash yeah. and Banjo Kazooie. Having all these people, just why not have all of them? Yeah, if he's if he's in, yeah. big point for me. Uh, Isaac from Golden Sun. Is I've I never, never played those games. What's what's Isaac? Yeah, Golden Sun. Is that like um, one of the characters? I guess. I guess it's like a, a pit or whatever. Yep. Uh, Cosmos from Xenoblade. Yeah, yeah, everyone knows that one. Yeah, I guessing he's a space guy. Or he's not. Cosmos. <laughs> Yeah. Ken from Street Fighter 2. That's a no-brainer, really. It, aren't they already in it? No, that was a uh, hypothetical. Oh, okay. Uh, Mark Ryder from Mark Ryder is going to be in it. Sick. <laughs> just a that, that, he has a very deep and complex backstory in Mark Ryder. Yeah, what is it? I don't know. There, there's none. <laughs> Got a car. Got a car. <laughs> I don't think, he, I I think there's even car. a graphic of him. <laughs> uh, Gino from Mario Brothers RPG, Secret of the Seven Stars. I don't know who that no, is. Who voted for that? Who, is that that little rabbit dude with the, yeah. the weird face? Jesus. And the chorus kids from Rhythm Heaven. Who's making these decisions? Yeah, who? who what? Remember when we put our list up and was yeah. like, yeah, let's put Hideo Kojima in there. These let's are amazing. Goku in there. Hey, you even said Neo from The Matrix. I'd prefer that over the Rhythm Heaven <laughs> Chorus Kids. Let's hope that they're just an attack or something. I That'll be know. a trophy. Um, yuck. Yeah, all right, a little <laughs> bit more Pokemon Go news. Uh, our good pal Meltan has got an evolution. He becomes a big boy and becomes Mel Metal. And you have to like, evolve him is, in Pokemon Go. Is and he the can transfer him over to... Let's go, Eevee. Let's go, Pikachu. Is he a, uh, a legendary one or whatever? He's a mythical one. Mythical. He's the only he the mythical one. Yeah, that can level up or yep. something. Yeah. Yep. I see. I know. So, I know. Yeah, someone's been reading my notes. No, no, no. I am. Um, oh, to say that. No, oh, I, 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 say I that. had a customer come in today. That, that's how I knew about the PAX thing as well. No, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anyway, that's all the news we got for now. So I'd like to take this time to talk about King Kaiju collectibles. How was he? He was great. He, he was a good man. He got lots of bargains. I helped pick out a lot of kaiju. Uh, at one point, we thought we were in trouble because we were getting all the kaiju off the racks and putting them in a basket, ready to buy them. And a lady came over and just went... And I sort of looked like... Oh, she looked a little bit stern-faced and I was worried we were in trouble. So I handed the basket off to uh, King Kaiju and just went, oh, it's his. <laughs> <laughs> so he marched down the front. And no, they bought up like three tubs full of kaiju. Oh, and, damn. Yeah. <laughs> He, he got a very good deal. But King Kaiju Collectibles, if you want to see more awesome, cool stuff like this exclusive Shin Godzilla that we got from the uh, Godzilla store, which I went to, uh, head on into uh, Collectible Place, which is Greenlight Comics. <laughs> Collectible Place. Is that what my comic shop's called? <laughs> Greenlight Comics. And come on down and have a look at the cabinets. Uh, they're getting topped up, I think, tonight. King Kaiju will be in to... And so he doesn't new, interrupt this. New Kaiju. Hopefully he does. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I bought lots of things. Which we'll see in a video. Which, yeah, we're gonna, well, I'm going to show you something now, actually. Yeah. You're going to do a show and tell? I'm going to do a little show and tell. Let's go. Let's All do right. it. So, while I was in Japan, I went there, yes, to do some karate training, but then I also went there to buy heaps of... Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> you, said, you said it weird. <laughs> did I? Brayden? I, well, what did you say weird? Because he said, because said, uh, I, I, I went yes to... Uh, it was something weird. Because you yes, put it, You put a yes in there in the wrong order. Because <laughs> yes... <laughs> Comma, I went to do some karate no, you training. you didn't. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. English. I'm not going to dispute gonna... it because <laughs> chances are. I can't speak. <laughs> uh, so I went there to that, but I also... Uh, blah, blah, blah. See, now I'm chewing my tongue. Uh, I also went there to try and get some video game stuff and some nerdy collectibles, which I also quite enjoy. So I bought some here. I've got more on the way. Uh, there will be a hell of a lot more coming out very, very soon when I get a post. Stop pointing at Vegeta! So he's one of them. It's a $10 Vegeta I got. That's excellent. He's Super Saiyan. Uh, and then down the front there, if you can see, that's a Game & Watch. A uh, little Game uh, & Watch display. Game & Watch, yeah, like di diorama. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got some stuff here. So the one of the first things, we all know what gachapons are, right? They're like uh, the machines where you put the $2 in and you turn the dial and a little ball comes out and you open up the ball. There's a little surprise in there. Yeah, it's a capsule machine. Capsule machine. Yeah. They're all over Japan. So I got a oh. capsule machine oh. that dispenses capsules. Oh my god. It's so small. Um, for the people at home. Hang on. Here we go. There we go. This is amazing. My mini gachapon machine that dispenses gachapons, I got out of a gachapon machine. Can I look at the gachapon? That's yep. amazing. I'll put it back in there. 
Oh my god, it's so small. Really that's cool. so cool. I'm so obsessed with things that are tiny and awesome. Oh, oh man, it's, it's yeah. But that's that's so cool. Whoever thought to do that is. Oh, awesome. dude, they think of everything. They've got like sushi you can get out of like obviously toy sushi. Yeah, but yeah, sushi <laughs> things are. <laughs> it's just, it's Mold, out. Moldy. <laughs> Uh, also, while I was over there, they had a lottery at 7-Elevens. Um, they do this from time to time. They've had Dragon Ball Z ones. They had a Breath of the Wild one while I was there. It's basically, you go in there, you put down $7, you get a ticket, and you undo the ticket, and a letter pops up. And uh, that letter corresponds to the prize that you win. So I got one of these. This is one of them. It's a little, little, <laughs> oh my little God. plate what is it? of something. There you go. It's is it an ashtray? It's like a, I don't no, know. It's a little plate. It's a little plate. It could be a soy sauce. But I got tray. some. Uh, I got some potions. Nice. Uh, and I got uh, a knife and a spoon and a fork, and I got a flannel as well. I didn't win the big main prize, so unfortunately. Uh, but you know, bunch I'm of cool little things. Yeah. Uh, I want some video game stuff. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that, friends, is Pokemon Snap from the Nintendo 64. Oh, yep. In a box? In a box. Pretty good condition as well. Um, I got this in a really, really cool shop that I will talk about uh, when we do the full video. So yes. stay tuned for the full video where I'll go into it a little bit more as to what we got. Excellent, excellent. Excellent, excellent. All right, some more game stuff. This bad boy is a uh, Game Boy SP. It's orange. It's orange. It has a... Uh... You know what that is? Is it the Naruto logo? It's the Naruto logo. I got a Naruto the village, Game Boy SP. The uh, the Leaf Village logo, I believe that is. Right. Yes. I'd have no idea. All I know <laughs> is that it's really expensive over here, and over there I got it for $60. Nice. Nice. Uh, a quick eBay check. I think they go for about $150, $200 on the eBay. Excellent. So I was pretty happy with that one, but not nearly as happy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is this your, your as, grail? No. Oh, the grail's to come. Oh. This bad boy here. So now, that's a boxed Game Boy Advance SP with a Torchic on the front. Which is what? A Pokemon. Oh, okay. So these were only sold in specific Pokemon centers around Japan. Uh, this one, again, looking on the ye olde eBay, is about three fifty to five hundred dollars. AUD. We should uh, start adding all that. Oh yeah, for Australian. Australian uh, dollars. I got it for fifty dollars. AUD. Yeah. It's complete. It has, even the bag it came with originally Damn. is in there. The only thing that was wrong with it yeah. is if you look down here, there's a little dent in the corner. And that Bin doesn't, that Bin doesn't it. cut it. Bin that it. doesn't cut it. Nope, sell it. Oh my oh, God. Look at the front of it. Very, so very that's, good. Uh, that's a that's your jewel. beautiful... One of your jewels. Beautiful piece to my collection. Because nice. I was never going to buy that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was no way I was ever going to get this. And for and people who don't know, you collect Game Boys. I do. We went through this last show. Yeah. I do collect Game Boys and that was very yeah. good. So I've got a couple more Game Boys I'm going to talk about again in the extended thing. Perfect. Uh, That's cool. Oh, here's a good one. $35. Damn. What is it? You have to say what it is. To it the... is <laughs> a Game & Watch multi-screen of Oil Panic in its box with the instruction manual and all the baggies. <laughs> Thirty-five dollars, yeah, Australian. Like, yeah, like one hundred and sixty at least. Yeah, easy. Yeah, easy. AUD. AUD. All right. Two more, two more before we get to Dan Sh Dan Show and Tell. Yeah, I got one thing. So I have a couple of <laughs> couple of Grail items that I was after. Well, a couple of things I really wanted while I was over in Japan. And I was searching really, really hard for them. Um, we came across this uh, particular item. I'll show the item. Here we go. Here he is. <laughs> he's Rob the Robot. It's a bar mix. It's <laughs> <laughs> so this was uh, the robot that came out with the Famicom, or uh, the PAL version was the Nintendo Entertainment System. It originally came out so Nintendo could say it was a toy, and they could sell Nintendos in toy aisles as opposed to electronic departments. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. And all he does is, I think, plays a little game with blocks for a couple of games. I can, I can interject here because I had interject. him. Yep. So when I got the NES, I got the entertainment system and it came with you the gun. The it came with that. It was only one thing. Yep. And ours is actually, yours here, you can see he's like cream and red and To match black. the Famicom. Yeah. 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 And ours were grey and greyer. Yeah. Black. yeah all, grey. <laughs> all very boring. Um, yeah. And he basically, so there was a game called Gyromite. Yep. Yeah. And what you do is he would, you'd have this other extension connected into the side of him here which would spin tops and would spin these tops at a higher spin then you would use the robot would come around pick up the top 
bring it around to the front and balance it on the button of the control pad to press the button. Damn. So and and so you had the spinning top on your control pad spinning on the button and then and then he and that would open a door in the game. So you had to like you had to play the game and then also have him picking up these spinning tops as they're about to fall and remaking them, turboing them up again on the thing and then re-putting down buttons when you need to open certain What doors. a tremendous pain in the ass! It was the worst! <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, he's the worst friend. Like, he's the worst. You could just have a friend over. You could just do it yourself. Like, it's not even that hard. <laughs> But no, I do love, I've always loved the Rob. Um, ours is a bit different. We didn't, I don't think ours had this bit. It was something different. Cable? Uh, yeah. Does he turn it on? He does, but you need to have him powered up. We don't have any batteries. No. Okay. Uh, so there's a, a great story behind me getting this. We found him in a, a store and he was $300. Oof. Uh, and I passed that up. And that's in Japan. The OG yeah. dudes, we can get stuff cheap, as you've been showing. Uh, and then in this store, which again is a story I'll relay in the full length video, uh, we end up getting for about $88. Nice. Damn. So very happy with that one. And now here's the big one. Oh, this is your holy grail. <laughs> So before Nintendo made uh, video game consoles and video games, they were a toy company for about 80 or so years where they made games uh, and toys, funnily enough, because that's what toy companies do. Uh, I've been on the search for uh, Nintendo toys for a very long time and never, ever came up against one. Until in Japan, Ooh. it may not like look like much. It looks like just a little bit of a Rubik's Cube. But this is a Nintendo puzzle game. You can it doesn't look like... It you see on the top there, made in Japan by Nintendo. It doesn't look like a cube. It's not like a Rubik's barrel it's, yeah, with, it's like with a, balls a in A Donkey it. Kong barrel, and yeah. you have to line up the balls with them. But it's not Donkey Kong, is it? This no. is way before all that was around. Can I look at the top? All right, don't don't breathe on it. That's when it. <laughs> so yeah, you got Nintendo written on the top. Yep. Pat penned. Patent pending. pending. Yeah, yeah, right. Nice. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> take a guess how much this gem cost me. Ooh, I'm gonna say not much because otherwise. You would have. I'm gonna you, guess that it's worth a lot, right? But you didn't pay much for it. Well, take a guess. Step in the dark. Uh, hundred. I don't know how. Uh, AUD. 50. Yeah, Australian dollars. Eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. Fifty. Fifty bucks. Six dollars. Yeah. Damn. I didn't want to like cheapen it by going <laughs> a dollar. And it was in the showcase, <laughs> and we were just walking past, and um, King Kaiju walked past, and he just went Ben and pointed to me and kept on walking. Yeah. Was, oh, I need this. Does he know you want them? Yeah. I, I think the best thing you got is this. The, the, the gadget. The gadget. I've, got a, awesome. the one, I've got another one at home. You can take off the bottom and put it on top. So yep. they're on top of each other like they are in Japan. I don't like them on top of each other though. No? You like, no, it, I like, like that. it like that. Anyway, that was my trip to Japan. It it's was great. great. And I'll go through it more in a full length video and talk about all my travels. Coming you got to a, the YouTube channel soon. Because you got a whole bunch more than you bought than that, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. Heaps. I've got some on the way. I've got a uh, blue Nintendo 64 on the way. Mm. So, should I say what I, show what I got this week? Yeah. I got this. Um, <laughs> it <laughs> I don't wasn't know in Japan. No, no. It was given to me by um, Jen from Shin Tokyo. She saw it. It came into her shop and she went, Dan's going to love that. So, for the, the podcast people who can't see this thing, it is basically a cat. <laughs> With and then he's just he's in a mech suit, I suppose, isn't he? It's yeah. cat tank. It's yeah. a it's a cat built built into a tank. Its real name is it's a Meowth. It's a Nico Basu. Is that how you say that again? So uh, so Neko Basu. Neko Basu. Um, he's the king version of it. <laughs> and then you, you can get a whole bunch of other cats that have like maybe one gun, but mine has one, two, three, four. I suppose they, he has a lot of guns. So as you can see him in the in the in the shots, um, this cat looks ex extremely like my cat um, because you know cats didn't want to kill humans enough. <laughs> Giving them guns them. is the smartest idea ever. The best bit I like about this thing is the cat itself isn't even. It's just being. It's just hung in there, like it's not even <laughs> touching anything. Its legs are just floating in the air, and it's just like there doesn't seem to be any reason why there's a cat in there. I love it. I love it so much. It was given to me by the awesome Jen from Shin Tokyo, and they have them for sale at Shin Tokyo right now. If you guys want to get down there, I don't know how much they are because it was a gift. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've actually had uh, customers a couple of couple of them saw it today, and they've actually gone down and bought them, saying, "Oh, I saw it at Greenlock Comics." That's awesome. rightly so. They're fantastic. But, um, that's 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 the end of my story. Um, yeah. It was short and sweet, and you can see though, just it is, like Dan. Yeah, 
You can see that it is a beautiful <laughs> item. I reckon uh, I'm going to put on an antique roadshow. <laughs> <laughs> what is this crap? Um, question time. <laughs> Question time. Question, question time. time. Fa- I love question time. Let's We've got do it. a couple of questions. So we put out the uh, call for questions on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all those places, even email. Uh, we've got a few coming on in. Thank you very much. Uh, feel free to send them in to Hack the Dino uh, through our website, hackthedino.com, over on the Facebook group, which is Hack the Dino, uh, or Instagram, which is all of our social medias. Hack the Dino. So the first one comes from Jordan Semrau. And he asks, what guest would you most like to get on the show that have not had on yet? That's not what it says. I just tr- stumbled over my words and <laughs> had to recover. This is a hard one because the, the more full on the guest is, the more I wouldn't want to be on the show because I would get too scared. <laughs> yep. yeah. Like the more and more. So I'm just, I, I just have to, I'd have to pull it under the bar. Yeah. But I reckon if, I'm going to go first, obviously. All right. <laughs> I reckon like um, a guest that would like tie into our show well, I'd really like to get like... Um, I'd like from the uh, the Good Game Show. I'd like to get the Nick Boy guy. Nick Boy? Yeah. Nick Boy. I love watching his like game streams and stuff and Bar-Jo. everything he did. No, not Barjo. <laughs> <laughs> no, not we don't have Nick Boy, but we have Barjo. No, not no. Barjo. No. No, no. I, I just want Nick. I just want Nick Boy. I, th- yeah, I, th- I, cool. I found him entertaining. I'm not just saying I didn't find Barjo entertaining yeah. and Hex entertaining. If Hex came on and Barjo, I reckon I'd be too t- starstruck and yeah. I'd just sit here going like, really? <gasps> yeah, yeah, because like. It's, it's, it's weird. Like, I don't often get starstruck, but yeah. for saying that, like... She's, she's doing stuff for, like, National Geographic and everything now. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Um, well, it's not as that. It's just, like, I just like Tim. Right. Yeah, he's cool. Man, got a man crush on him. No. So no, fair d- enough. So I don't like denim shirts. He wears them. All right. Well, speaking of man crush, Brayden, who would I like on? Uh, I'm oh. guessing if you had... Those men that you like. If you, if bruh, you, bruh. If, if you, if, I was going to say, if you, if you had the guts, it'd be Kojima. But <laughs> that's what, too high. Who, wa- too who high. wants to watch an hour of me just bowing <laughs> exactly. at someone's feet? Really? No. So I, I just want the whole cast of Snuffbox. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want Matt Berry on here. That'd be my dream. Yeah, but that'd yeah. be cool. But um, Maybe. it wouldn't no. be much of the show because we just get him to sit here and for an hour just do like an hour. He'd of just stuff. be swearing, going, "What the f is that?" <laughs> <laughs> like, <and stuff. laughs> um, Brian. Yeah, so Brian Altano and Max Scoville, I would love to have on here. Uh, I'd love to get Alana Pierce on because yeah. that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah she's cool. Uh, but I also wouldn't mind, realistically, uh, there's a YouTuber called Mr. A Game, who's yes. a fellow Adelaide resident. Yeah, I that's would a really like to get him on. That's a realistic uh, one, one of the things he does on his YouTube channel is go through uh, Mario Makers that uh, are given to him. Uh, he. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I, love that. I don't know because those got those levels are so hard. <laughs> like people make them so he must be he must do some really oh he loses torturous videos. But he's eh? really nice about it. He's got a really nice personality, and when he gets frustrated, he just goes, "Don't do that. Don't, just don't do that." <laughs> but he's got really really slick editing skills, nice. and I really like that, Braden. Oh, t- 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 <laughs> subtle. <laughs> I've got slick editing skills. <laughs> and, Sick. Uh, um, no, and also realistically. I've made no qualms about it, but I'm, I'm going to launch it right here, right now. We want Team Cherry back on the show. Yeah, yeah they'll come back. That's right. Sure, they're hugely popular and successful now with an award-winning game and out on multiple consoles and have won the uh, admiration of people like Brian Altano and Max Scoville. <laughs> but we want them sitting here talking about their games and giving us all the scoops. Or even one of them. I'll, I'll, one or... I'll be happy with like... Just have, have Brian or Max interviewed them? No. So you could interview them before. Yeah. Well, you already have, but you could again. Yeah. And then you could send it to them and be like, ha, I did it before you. Yeah, I'm sure they'll love that. <laughs> I'm ha, sure ha, Brian Altano will just go, oh, yeah, well done. You are the best. Yeah. Um, no, I haven't. He, he wouldn't even read it. He just yeah. glaze over it. <laughs> oh, I've spoken to Brian before. I yeah. haven't. Yeah. He's a nice guy. Uh, and Greg Miller. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. That'd be crazy. Who do you want on, Braden? Oh man, yeah, I'd I'd say Greg Miller. Greg as, Miller as like the big one for me because like I was I was like probably early 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 teens maybe when I like podcast beyond started. Yep, and like that was like first couple ones and I was hooked on that the entire time and went over to kind of funny with them and everything and like man that would be nuts just to actually meet him. Yeah, right. Yeah. Second question. Oh, man, that was a long question. It was. James Quail, Quail? Quail. Sorry, James, if I got your name wrong. Uh, what fads from your childhood do you wish would come back? Dan. Mad balls. 
Mad Balls. Uh, we saw them over in Japan. Yeah, they actually they're, got they're, new they're ones. still there. <clears throat> yeah, they got new ones out now. Horror ones. I saw one with a... They're uh, all horror. But this one had <laughs> uh, an alien uh, egg ca- face hugger on it. That's oh, cool. you're right. Yeah, and they had like a Freddy Krueger one and a Jason Voorhees yeah. one. I like the Mad Balls. I got a couple like... Um, I wouldn't mind like the Garbage Pail Kids. Yeah, bring them back. Garbage bring them back. I like all those gross '80s toys stuff they were doing. Those trading cards were awesome. There was also a bunch of like toys they did. I'm gonna have talked about them before. You're gonna have to find, try and find footage of these, Brayden. Okay. Or, or at least a still picture of like a whole bunch of skateboarding toys, and right. they're like skateboarders on skateboards, but they're all wounded in a way. Like one of them was like, a girl with all glass in it, and she was like Patty Plank glass, <laughs> and like a, a cherry tailpipe, and he had like the tailpipe of a car going through his head. Oh like, my God. and it, it was that whole face. Remember in the eighties, all those violent toys came out, and then they were around for like a year, and then they all got banned. No, because I was a child in the eighties. Oh, that's, that's that sounds because awesome, they're toys. <laughs> that's when you're supposed to be. <laughs> No, they were, awesome. in like, they were in like, well, and it was the same time when like the slime came out and the mad balls and the garbage pail kids. And then when they became popular, all these other companies like started doing these hideously violent toys and they all got banned straight away. Yeah. But they were, yeah, I've got one of them. I've got Terry Tailpipe. That's awesome. Mm. At home. All right, Braden, from your, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi. From, from your childhood, what, what do you I'm, wish came back? Hi, I'm still in it. <laughs> um, do you wish like. We all are. Yeah. Just you, because you we're old like, men. Doesn't you wish MySpace would come back? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those early days of YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want back. Yeah, you want four, like, like four to three YouTube back? Yes. Oh, oh man. Those, like, do you remember when there was like six YouTube videos? That was the time, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, want the fir- you want the first... Um, no, that's actually going too bad. I was going to say the first uh, season of uh, Big Brother. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Big Brother, yeah. I loved Big Brother as a kid. So, that's great. what's your answer? Um, I'm going to go with like classic YouTube. Like old school YouTube. Cause oh, there was- really? There was that no, because there was that um that game which is like a not really a fad. It's set in like MSN or something or like what something similar. And there's a let's play of it on kind of funny that I'll bring up on the screen at the moment. But um it's basically like MSN Messenger, and in it you could go to like old YouTube in it and everything. Wow, oh, so cool. That'd be cool. Uh, very simply, I'd like Nazis not to be around. That'd be good. <laughs> It's not a fad. <laughs> oh, it was, and it's one that we squashed, and let's squash it again. Yeah. That wasn't from your childhood, the Nazis. <laughs> I'm an old man. <laughs> well, when I was no, when I was a kid, there were no Nazis. They're yeah. back now. Yeah. No, let's go back to a simpler time. No so Nazis. You, so you're saying that when you're a child, the Nazis were fully in as a fad? <laughs> no, I'm saying <laughs> no when Nazis I was a child, was a fad. there were no Nazis. I'd like to go back to a time when there were no Nazis. Oh, because now Is that the moment? We got Nazis. No Nazis, Nazis, not neo-Nazis. I don't care, whatever. Just anything with those words, just out. Zebras, you got a Z, get out. (laughs) Uh, Finally, Ty Caddy asks, you can write a comic about any intellectual property. Pitch it. What do you mean intellectual property? As in something that already exists? Yeah. Intellectual property? Or do do I have to make up intellectual property? You can pitch Spider-Man. What story do you want to tell? I don't want to Spider-Man. Well, just choose one. So we're going to do Dan vs. Uh, the World. You've got 30 seconds. Go. I would like you to re... I would like... Oh, man. Go. <laughs> I don't have anything. I too hard. You do yours. All right, fine. I'll do Deadpool. Uh, and Deadpool basically would uh, come across Doctor Doom's time machine. And he would break it while he's fighting Doctor Doom. And then he'd be traveling throughout the Marvel Universe history. Uh, and you realize that he's the cause of all the retcons. This sounds like a Grant Morrison storyline. It does sound, but that, that'd be cool though. Yeah, it would I be like cool. That. Yeah. Anyway, that's my pitch. Your turn. I just have, uh, let's have Invincible. <laughs> All right. And what, what is, what's, what's the pitch? When, what does what's he do? Uh, he, uh, it's set 500 years into the future yep. of the Invincible universe. The end. So uh, Dan's a published author. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have anything. He doesn't know how to elevate a pitch. I didn't read that one. I didn't get it Brady. ready. I don't know how to do it. You can pitch. Quick. I just want... I want a, a hyper-modern, slightly futuristic Hellboy. Sure. Okay. Time to play Dan versus the world. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what we've got here is a brand new format. Well, not really. It's still, uh, I've got three songs. I'll play the first five seconds of one of those songs. Then Dan, who's representing Dan, will ask a question in order to try and guess it. Then it will go over to his opponent. Now, usually we have a guest here. Who is the opponent? We have a guest here. Oh, Jesus. King oh, Kaiju is attacking me with a monthra King Ka- slug. King Kaiju. Uh, usually we have a guest here to try and guess them. However, no guess. So we're calling in 
Brayden. The, the Millennial Falcon. The Millennial Falcon himself is coming up. Brayden will be representing the world whenever we don't have a guest here. And no, you don't get your own theme music. Oh, Stop okay. it. <laughs> you get the, Just the Rocky you, thing. You get the cat gun looking at you, though. That thing is awesome. That's so cool. All right, Hello, so Katie. I've got the first song here. All right. The first five seconds. We're going to take it in turns. Dan, you go first. Uh, we're at Neil All. the world always went first. Well, whatever. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> new format. For fighting, <laughs> whenever I change my mind, new format. We're fighting for this cup, the cup of infinite awesome. I think I change that name every you time. You change it every time. Uh, hey, Dan won at the first season. The hey. world won at the second season. Yep. And this is the third season. Here we go. Here we go. First five seconds. Here, here, here we go. For the family here. Performance for you. If you know. Dan, first question. Hi. You can, of course, guess it if you want, but if you guess incorrectly, the world gets the point. I think Braden knows what it is. Uh, it's sim. Uh, oh, I know, it sounds I, familiar. I reckon I know what franchise it's from, but I want to mm. uh, narrow it down. Okay. I can't see the. I can't see it. Can no, I? you can't. It's not up. No, cool. it's um, is it? Oh, look, let's do the old questions. So, uh, right. What? What? Um, what? Uh, uh, console or whatever is it on? Uh, it like, was, originally, it, it on. originally came out on the Nintendo sixty four. Your favorite console? Yeah, I just, already. <laughs> this I don't know what it is. <laughs> Brayden, cool. Brayden, at least you were born. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's uh, let, let, let's go with what genre was it? Uh, it was a three D platformer. Yeah, cool. Damn. Three D platformer. Sixty four. Sixty four. Um, do you know what company bought it out? Uh, Nintendo. Hmm. That's a waste of a question. Whoa. <laughs> uh, does it have some apes in it? Oh, there's some uh, there's some prime apes in there. There we go. There prime we go. apes? Right. Prime, some there's prime some Pokemon apes. In, there's some Pokemon in there. Prime apes. All right, question number three, Dan. Um, what is the main protagonist? Uh, he's an ape. Mm. Cool. Another waste of question. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost your touch. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> um, is it the... First in a series? Uh, a good question. Ooh, define that. Is it the first? <laughs> is it the first one? Like, not of the overall franchise. Right. Of the, a specific series. Uh, well, yeah. Yep, okay. it is. Okay. Does it have... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm just trying to think of a good question that can narrow anything down. What is... Um, you said it was a 2D platform. So we've got six, six, <laughs> uh, a Nintendo we've, game. We've narrowed it down a lot. Made by Nintendo on the Nintendo 64 <laughs> with monkeys. <laughs> How much more clues do you need? I didn't even know the name of it. I'll just, I'll just guess. Is it Donkey Kong 64? Yep. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know. I just know that they just end everything in 64. I was going to guess country, so... Oh, really? That, that wasn't on the 64. What, what's country? Which one's that? It was a Super Nintendo. Oh, okay. It's on the 64, oh. man. Always Everything go with 64. default 64. Yeah, that makes sense. Brayden, you disappoint me. <laughs> I'm, I'm born that way, okay? <laughs> That's my specialty. <gasps> All right. So, Dan's on one. The world's on zero. All right. Song number two. There you go. Mm. Am I, is it my turn? Yeah, you go first. Um, yep. Textbook. Uh, what What is the original console? Uh, PC. Nice. Gross. Cool. <laughs> it doesn't narrow it down at all. <laughs> cool. Um, what genre is it? Uh, it is... <laughs> 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 is it a JRPG? No, it's not an RPG. It is a survival game. Okay. In one mode. <laughs> what do you? Okay. All right. Okay. Right. What well, you, you got it now? Have you? No, uh, maybe. What do you? Uh, what do you play as? Uh, you play as a man. A manly Sometimes man. Sometimes a girl, but primarily a man. Oh, you see, that's throwing me. Um, well, you don't have a question now, do you? Yeah. Uh, what? Decade is it from? Oh, God. Uh, 2000s? 2000s? 2010s. 2000s. Oh. 2000s. Okay. Not the 2000s? No, no, no. It's later than that. All right. Yep. Yeah, Close to 2010s if I okay. am wrong. Dan, question number three. Um, what was it? What's that again? What's that again? Did we say? 
uh, can in, be survival. In one mode, it's a survival mode. Okay. Is it an offshoot of a, a, a game franchise? No. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. Like, like is it a spin-off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. Braden. Can you be creative in it? You can. What? All right, I know what it is. <laughs> I think. You can, I think I know can what it you is. be creative in it? Yeah, let, let me just remind you, Dan. He thought Donkey Kong Country was on the 64, so... It not all's lost. <laughs> That's what I'm hinting say. at. That's um, the thing is I'm, I might sound like I'm getting close, but I'll be way off. All right. What, are, what about this question? I know it sounds like another one. What genre is the story? Like, is it a horror or science fiction? Like what kind of, because we know it's an adventure or whatever you say. Mm. Uh, no, I, uh, I would say it's uh, an adventure survival game. Like there's nothing too scary in there. I'm, 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 I'm going to take my stab in the dark. Right. Oh, right. Is it Minecraft? It's Minecraft. Yes! Oh. Yeah. Hey, there Aha, you go. My age wins. <laughs> For what? Damn it. I thought it was... <laughs> I thought it was like Parasite Eve. Because <laughs> it was on the, the, Super the, the fully morose music. <laughs> okay, so we got Dan on one and The World on one. Here we go. Third song. Sounds very familiar. Mm, should see anytime it's anytime these start with chip tunes, I'm just gonna be like, damn. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you, you just have to nail it down. Yeah. Uh, my, I guess it's my shot again. Yeah. The first. What is, what um, what genre of game is it? Uh, it is a side scroller. Side scroller, jumpy era. Yeah, jumpy era. What console was it on? Uh, it was on the Nintendo Entertainment System originally. Cool anus. Ooh. Oh, and it also came out on Sega Mega Drive. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, one of them games. Yep, cool. Um, what is what is the main protagonist that you play? Uh, oh. He's an anthropomorphic animal. An anthropomorphic animal. That's the one. Okay. Uh, what's the main like bad guy? Oh, good, good know? question. The main bad guy is a lady. Okay. A lady. A lady. A lady. Yeah, equal rights. Hmm? <laughs> Women can be bad people too. That's right. Especially in an anthropomorphic game. Yep. Um, what is the main um, attack of the person you play? Like, what are they? They punch and kick. So it's a, a fighting. Cool. Cool. Punch, okay. like punch and kick. Punch and kick. I thought that was a good question as well. Because mm. I don't know what it is, eh? Really? <laughs> <laughs> can you... Is there multiple characters you can play as? Yes, there is. Okay. Oh, God. Dan, question number four. Well, when you say anthropomorphic, yep. what is the exact animal it's thromorping from? <laughs> A toad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like I could <laughs> guess it. That was a Shh. silly question, Dan. Bother. <laughs> Bother. Bother. Is it, Bo- is it battle no, toads? No, it's battle toads. Nah. See? See? Oh man, yes. Dan, yes. you forgot. You forgot. You don't ask the questions that can get you. I just, I'm just happy to have a question that works. Hey. <laughs> I feel like we got some new questions in there, which will now be in rotation forever again. Yeah, like, well, we'll the, see about the attack? that. Yeah, that's like a good attack one. Attack what is your villain? Is that it? That's it. That's, that's it. a three. So at the end of Hell Dan yeah. versus the world, season three, we've got Dan on one and the world on two. <laughs> can the world retain? Probably. We'll see what I feel like. <laughs> Dan versus the millennials. We're not That's changing accurate. that. No. But we have been Hack the Dino, a fortnightly pop culture podcast thing. I was going to change that. Oh, well, that'll do for now. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? It's just chilling. <laughs> Get, getting it like, better in frame. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be both sitting on the, on the side. So I'm just casual. I'm, you, I'm like, you do look very casual. I'm like, um, I'm like Goldblum in Jurassic Park. <laughs> you know, no, you're not. Comes in with a shirt. It's exactly like that. You can see us more time. Stop rubbing my leg. I can't <laughs> you're in my way. You're in my sexy time. You can see more of us <laughs> over on Spotify. I said it right then. Uh, also more on place. SoundCloud, uh, iTunes. You can leave us a review on there. You can head on over to youtube.com backslash hack the dino and click that subscribe button to see more stuff that's coming out. Braden's bringing out more nostalgia. Dan's sultry face. 
What do we got coming up? Uh, coming up next, Braden. Uh, next up is going to be our sports special. Oh, our sports special, which got pretty rowdy, right? Um, and then after that. I haven't locked down a date to actually record it, but um, you uh, that in here, didn't you? Yeah, you it in the shop. And then uh, a little uh, announcement that I've got um, up coming up soon. You're getting after married? That, not quite. Um, <laughs> You're getting be, divorced? There, oh no! Uh, there'll be the Fallout episode, and I've actually been from in your talks. divorce. <laughs> Fallout, the from Fallout. The divorce. <laughs> um, and I'm Aiden getting drunk. And actually, because <laughs> I tried to think, who's the biggest Fallout fan I know? Um, and Who? I nailed down. Paul from I was Infinite World. Paul Brisk, totally. Yeah. So yeah. he's actually, uh, it won't be done uh, in time for the episode, unfortunately, but he's apparently getting his office at Infinite World's tattoo to be done up like a fault, fallout shelter. Oh, jeez. So, like, like a vault, well? like yeah. one of the vaults. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, right. But, um, so he's going to be on the episode and we're going to talk about uh, all the old fallouts and then mm-hmm. what we want to see from 76. Cool. Dan, what do you got to plug? Um, that's my shop. Coming to the Green Light Comics, 18 Stevens Place. Come down and buy a comic. Uh, you maybe want to plug what's happening with Dino Moore. For oh the, yeah, yeah. Uh, so ten dollar Patreon. So if you go over to patreoncom backslash hack the dino, give us money and give us a dollar a month. You can get the pre-show and find out what happened to my beard. You can give us <laughs> three dollars a month and get the monthly Dino Moore podcast, which is us three joking around and talking about all sorts of silly things. Or for ten dollar a month, you get all that stuff. As well as this. Um, so we're filming a new version of Dino More, uh, which will be a live stream, a private live stream, where you guys can come in and, t- and uh, questions. It'll be like video. Um, what we're talking about will be put up. We're going to try and do it all live. So it's basically an, a live TV show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like this show, but done completely live. No editing. It's going to be a, a pish posh. <laughs> <laughs> pish posh. <laughs> Uh, that's accurate. That's a word, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's well, what Braden's going to be doing at his fallout from his divorce. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we're going to we're actually doing that. That'll actually be up by the time you guys probably see it. So yeah. it'll be every second Friday. It'll be up live. So Is it? I thought we were only doing it monthly. Dino monthly, monthly. <laughs> monthly. It'll be on a Friday, the first Friday of the month. So yeah, the ten dollar patreons uh, will get an exclusive invite through the email to come and watch it live. They'll be able to ask questions, interact with us, have a good old time. Uh, and then that'll be up for the other $10 Patreons later on. And then at the end of the month, we will release it to everyone. So you do get to watch it eventually, but not as soon as the $10 Patreons. Yeah, but like um, if you want to be part of the show, you have yeah. to be one of the Patreons. And so we want it to point. be really interactive as well. So those $10 Patreons uh, are going to be really, really focused on in those proceedings, like firing us questions, asking us things. We're um, going to bring it up. You'll see what we're bringing up. I've yeah. got it set up with all scenes. Oh, it'll be, it'll be in the back. It'll be so much fun. It'll be so. There'll be so many errors. Oh, it's, exactly. It's, it's gonna crash. <laughs> and uh, also for the dollar patrons as well, you get the um the sell me a comic. Oh yeah, we're gonna record that. Sell me a comic. I gotta say, we recorded about six before I went to Japan in order to have the back. Did we? Yeah, I can't remember. And they've just been coming out. They come out every Wednesday. Uh, and sell me a comic is just Dan uh, being a shopkeep in his comic store trying to sell me a customer a comic. It's like radio skit comedy where like we play like yeah, and things. I. I Without blowing my own trumpet, because I haven't had those ribs removed. Uh, <laughs> That's good. It is really funny. I really enjoy, I listen back to it, and I know it's really egotistical of me to laugh at my own uh, material, but I'm really proud of it. It's five minutes it's of us good. just being idiots. Like There are free samples, aren't there? Uh, yeah, I'm going to put some more up, I think. Yeah. Uh, there was one where we talked about like Peter Coombe, who was a... a <laughs> An Australian child singer, when Dan and I were growing up, he snuck into an episode, and then by the end of the episode, it was just Dan and I singing those songs. Is that what happened? Yeah. <laughs> we sang Mr. Clickety Kane. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> Man, I was somewhere else that day. <laughs> anyway, we've been Hack the Dino. Be sure to check out hackthedino.com for not much, because it's not much of a website. But Facebook. the YouTube channel is. Also, go over to Facebook and uh, just Google subscribe us. there. Yeah. Let's Google Hack the Dino. You'll see it all. We're all there. Just <laughs> come and join. The water's fine and yellow. Dan had Halloween. an accent. This has been our spectacular. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs>